Hi and welcome to this uh, walkthrough of a benzoic acid preparation question. It's of the leveled response question style, which means it's a six marker and it needs to be um, organized into specific points in the answer. So the chemist carries out the reaction in equation 17.1, which we provided up here for you. And uh, you need to do a plan to think about what you're going to say. So you can, say it is, you can see it describes a method, or asks you to describe a method to obtain a pure sample of 3-nitrobenzoic acid, which is this compound here, from the impure solid, determine the percentage yield, and check its purity. So I'm going to put some points down that come to mind about how I'm going to construct my answer as a little plan before I actually write the answer in the answer box. So I need a percentage yield calculation done, and also I need to check the purity. So, in terms of the method, uh, it starts by telling you a chemist obtains three nitrobenzoic acids in impure solid. So, when we're talking about a solid synthesis, you involve things like filtering to reduce pressure, washing the impure product with water, dissolving in a minimum solve, uh, volume of hot solvent, and then after that, recrystallizing and filtering, including drying it before checking its melting point. The percentage yield calculation. Uh, would need to use the equation stoichiometry, so that would mean the mole ratios between your benzoic acid and your three nitro benzoic acid, uh, to put the values into the actual moles over the expected moles times 100. To check the purity, the melting point of a solid is affected by its purity, so the closer the measured melting point that you get is to the actual melting point, as you can find in data books or data sheets, the purer your solid sample will be. So let's see how we might put our answer together. So, obtaining a pure sample, you'd filter the impure sample using reduced pressure. Uh, you wash the solid with water, and then leave it to dry. The percentage yield, um, let's have a think about this. So first of all, the MR of 3-nitrobenzoic acid, which is C7H5NO4. So what I've done is I've counted up all of the carbons, oxygens, nitrogens and hydrogens here. That's 167 grams per mole. So that means the number of moles of that obtained, because they tell you that the chemist purifies the solid to obtain 4.85 grams of it, you divide the 4.85 grams by 167 to give 0 0.029. Now that comes out as a calculator value, hence the dots afterwards. Now from the equation up here, you can see there's one mole of your benzoic acid makes one mole of three nitrobenzoic acid. So it's important to remember that when you're doing your calculation. The MR of benzoic acid, which is C6H5COH, this time is 122 grams per mole. So similar kind of calculation, put 4.97 grams in because that was the amount that was used, 4.97 grams of benzoic acid. Divide that by 122 grams per mole, which gives you 0.041. So the expected number of moles you're hoping to get is uh, 0 0.040 dot dot dot. So what we're saying is the expected number of moles of this substance is 0.040. Now the calculator value is what we're using here. So you can see that the percentage yield is the number of moles you actually get over the number of moles you'd expect to get times 100. So this time I've used the calculator values so I would have put them into the memory of my calculator. Now I recall them and put them into this expression and that gives me 71.29%. The final part is to have a look at the checking purity. So you measure the melting point of the dried purified sample and check it against known values from either data books or databases. You could also use spectroscopy um, instead if you wanted to. Uh, the mark scheme allows for that. Okay, so hopefully this has been a useful run through of one possible way of um, answering this question. Thanks for listening as always. Until next time, see you soon.